Uh, what more can you tell us, Nana? Around 8 o'clock in the morning, we heard the rockets flying over our heads and the rockets landed near the presidential palace, which is in the center of the city. Today is the first day of Eid, uh, which is a national holiday. And because of that, the streets were quite empty uh, this morning and no one was injured. Inside the presidential palace, President Asavrani, uh, Dr. Abdullah Abdullah, also former President Hamid Karzai and many other high-level officials were just beginning to pray to mark the start of Eid. And shortly after the attack, a video of the prayer surfaced. And in the video, you see the leadership of the country continue to pray almost without flinching while the rockets are landing just outside the palace. No. There's still no group... Yeah. Sorry, yeah. and have, do we have any update in regards to casualties or who indeed was responsible? Yes, yeah, still no one has claimed responsibility for the attack. On, and although, as you said, it is the first of its kind that we see this year here in Kabul, there were several such rocket attacks in the city last year, and one that happened while Ashraf Ghani was sworn in as president in March uh, was claimed later by the Afghan branch of the Islamic State group. Now, with the withdrawal of foreign troops imminent, what is the atmosphere like in the country uh, presently? Afghans are in a flight or fight mode these days, as many people fear that the violence and the advances of the Taliban will only increase after the withdrawal of international troops. The Afghan security forces, sorry, do take back some districts from the Taliban at the moment, but the speed and the ease with which the Taliban has taken ground since may have shocked many people. Every morning, hundreds, if not thousands of people come to the passport office here in Kabul, and the office now produces 6,000 new passports every day to Afghans who wish to get out of the country. And that is only the regular migration. On top of that are the thousands of families who have been displaced in the past months because of the fighting. Other people, on the other hand, are picking up arms these days because they want to be able to defend themselves if or when the Taliban comes to their village. So all in all, the uncertainty here in Afghanistan is increasing day by day. Nanabus uh, Stephenson uh, reporting there from uh, Kabul. Thank you.